Before I install the bridge onto my x-axis, I want to uh, install the adjustable feet on this thing, just so I can have it exactly level, and that way I can reference uh, my bridge off of that. I cut myself some of these pieces of eighth-inch steel and uh, mark the center. I'm going to expand the holes a bit so that I can get the screw through it and I'm going to weld the nut <coughs> onto the piece of steel then I'm going to weld these like so Alright guys, I got my adjustable feet in on all four legs. It's time to assemble the bridge so I have everything nice and square. Uh, I put the sled over on this side and it sort of squares everything up. Guys, that's a really nice fit actually it's I mean it's already pretty set in there without any without anything it's not even welded or anything all right all my supports are in now this thing is just solid so now I'm able to take these out today we're gonna to be working on the lead screw for the y-axis, lead screw for the x-axis, and uh, mount all the motors. So I made myself a couple more of these bearing holders. These are thinner bearings so uh, and I'm only gonna hold them from one side. They're basically gonna go up here like so. On this side the motor is going to be behind it and uh, same thing on the other side. So to hold the lead screw in place uh, I'm going to be using these pieces of hose with, uh, with a clamp and then this uh, the hose itself will will press up against the bearing. So I cut these like so just to because otherwise it's impossible to get it in there. And then the uh, the hose clamp will work pretty well like that. We'll see. Just clamp this ruler here and making sure that that distance is the same on the other side. And it is, so I'm ready to tack this together. Guys, I use this piece of foam just make sure that the lead screw is not 
sagging like that. Or I cut myself a piece of flat bar. I'm just going to install it onto this thing. I have my block nice and level. Now I'm going to join it to the Y axis. I'm taking this piece of flat bar. I'm going to rest it up against the, uh, the nut here. So I have my flat bar clamped in and uh, and I have this uh, this right here is perfectly level believe me I checked it before you see how it's the same height It's in there guys. It's attached. I'll have to put the stoppers in and stuff and see how it spins. Just install the motor and oh, we're good man. Okay so let's mount this motor. So I just want to line it up really nice with this. And I like that. See I made these holes a little bit larger in the metal so I can adjust this accordingly okay motor is in no need to do anything else here this motor is not going anywhere guys okay guys have my bearings here in place and now I'm gonna clamp onto this So I attach these pieces of metal to my block and then I will weld it onto this other piece of flat bar and that will go attached to my x-axis. This piece right here has clear coat on it, so I need to remove that and make it into a weldable surface. This used to be some sort of retail display that uh, I've had for actually for many years out at the metal farm. I have everything so perfectly aligned, I don't even want to look at it. If I check one more time, I'm going to drive myself nuts. Yes sir, my lead screw is in. All I have to do now is uh, mount the motor. I made a bunch of experiments with this and I found that this tube right here from an old keg works best um, as my couplers and also as my stoppers. I needed a washer to go right up against the bearing but only touching the inside of the bearing so it can spin freely and then I'll put this sort of deal just bumped up against it best way I found to cut these is actually with a chisel it cuts it really nice and straight and I'm gonna cut it like so Oops, I'll try not to chop my fingers off. Yeah, it's a nice clean cut. So I'm just going to scoot that in here. And I had bought some at Harbor Freight that were 
super cheap, like this whole assortment of, of these. And man, those things were terrible. So I found these that are, I was surprised to see that these are actually made in the U.S. and it works a lot better. I mean, it's night and day difference. The other ones were just for show, I guess. They didn't even really work. And this thing right up against that washer. And the washer is not touching the outside of the bearing. It's spinning freely. And as I tighten this this hose clamp, it sort of pushes uh, to the washer, which is great. Okay, guys. Well, that is, the lead screw is in, and wow, I'm surprised how how smooth it is. There's no play when I do it that way, which is extremely important. So. Uh, this is good, now I just need to mount the motor. I already had the motor mounted on this plate, so all I did is bend this a bit, and uh, that seems to line up pretty well. So I'm just gonna do it. It'll also have some flex. Just making a couple of holes here so that I can get some weld in there all the way. Because otherwise that would be really superficial since I have to grind this down. To mount the motor for the z-axis uh, I'm just gonna put some flat bar just like that on both sides and then just bend it okay well that fits pretty well so I have my two sides here and I'm just going to mount them like so. I trim these these guys out a bit, shorten them out. Now I'm going to bend them. I have everything installed. Um, all, the, all my rods are spinning with the motors. Nothing's binding. I just tested it by hand. And I'm surprised how smooth it is to, to spin these. It's just, I mean, the motor has no problem. I thought it would be a problem with all the weight. But wow, it's just great. Thank you for watching, guys. And check out the next episode. I'm going to be firing this thing up. I'll walk you through the software settings and I'll be attaching a whole different bunch of tools to this thing. It's going to be pretty cool. If you haven't done so, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. And holler at me if you have any questions down below. Take care, guys.